Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Mr. Grable's Grade 3 Math Class. Today, we're going to do some more adding and subtracting, but this time it involves problem solving from page 58, 5 tens, 8 ones. So yes, Unit 3, Lesson 12, page 58, problem solving, solving addition and subtraction problems. Now, there's a big, long problem on here, but the thing is, boys and girls, what you have to really do with these big, long problems is shrink them down to what's important. And it says, Vin made two paper chains. The red chain has 216 links. The blue chain has 379 links. How many links is that all together? Now, when you see the word all together, it almost always means addition. So we know we're adding these two numbers together because they got some red ones, some blue ones. I'm gonna add them all up, get a pretty big number. Here we go. Nine plus six, 15. So we'll put the five in the ones place, add that one into the tens place. One plus seven is eight, plus one more is nine. And then three plus two, of course, is five. 595 paper chains all together. Now, does that make sense? They had about 200 red ones, if we're going to estimate, and they had almost, well, almost 400 blue ones. So 200 plus about 400, about 600 makes sense. There you go. Now, we're going to skip number one with Jacques because I see all together again. So basically, you're going to have to add the 39 cardinals and the 18 blue jays. Add them up, you'll get it. Okay? Now, 2, on the other hand, has the other phrase, the other words I want you to notice, because these are the subtraction words. Okay? So this one says, Cynthia has 147 cowrie shells. Okay? So a bunch of shells. And 286 puka shells. Ooh, lots of shells. How? But now, here's the question. How many more puka shells than cowrie shells does she have? So there's the phrase that means subtraction. How many more? Okay, so notice we put subtraction there. So we have this many puka, 286, this many cowrie, 147. But what's the difference? How many more puka shells is what we want to know about. Okay, so, oh, oh I see some definite borrowing here because I can't take 7 when there's only 6 there. Let's put that 8 into a 7. Of course, the 6 will turn into 16 because it's got that extra 10. 16 take away 7 is 9. Good. 7 take away 4 is 3. And 2 take away 1, of course, is 1. So about 139 more puka shells than calorie shells. But does that make sense? Well, we had almost 300 puka shells, about 150 calorie shells. So that's about about 150. Yeah, looks like it's correct. There you go. Solving problems with addition and subtraction, very important. That's really what you're learning for life skills. When you're going to the grocery store and you have this much money and you're adding up all the things and can you afford to pay for it? Make sure. That you have enough money. All right, have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye bye.